Hey guys, what's up? Big John TV, thanks for tuning in. We're all about food, family, mm -hmm. and fun. Here at Big John TV, that's how we roll. We are doing you Kitchen guys. Gadget. You guys love this segment. We're gonna do it. Try and do it once a month, kind of give or take. It's a little bit of an expensive video to do, but you love them. We love them. Kitchen gadget testing. And the first time I'm in it. We're gonna get Jamie involved with this one. This is a good one for him because he loves butter and bread and toast, things like that. We're talking about butter. I want to say the word tools. Butter tools, butter distribution gadgets, butter dispensers. Dispense butter dispensers. Cause look, we're talking butter dispensing. Cause today. look at this one. It's squirting out butter. <laughs> All right, we butter have three pencil. different gadgets we are testing. You see the empty space over there. Jess is about to jump in. We're trying to. Oh, I ripped it already. We are trying to get the the toast to be piping hot as it comes out. Um, Not like super hot. Comment down below the appropriate level from 1 to 10 of your toast doneness. Ten, like. one, 1 being cold, 10 being charcoal black, inedible. Tell me... I don't like charcoal black. Tell me what level of toast you're a fan of, though. Um, like marshmallow 10. Like, like a 3 or a 4? Yeah. I prefer like a 7. Right on the verge of being burnt. I think that's when it brings out the best flavor of the, of the bread. Personally, like two seconds longer and it's not edible kind of distance, you know? Okay, uh, we have the one-click butter cutter. We're going to post all the information we have on these down in the description box below. And if we find them in, our, in on Amazon... These are all from Amazon. These are all from Amazon, so we're going to have all of these in our Amazon storefront. So if you want to buy them and you... Hey, hey be... Don't... Hey. Hold on now. I'll let you do this, but you can't look. You gotta, you know, not break it right off. How the do bat. you put the butter on? We'll figure that in a second. What I was gonna say though, if you guys like what you see and want to buy the gadgets, we're gonna put it in our Amazon storefront so that you can. Okay. Now, you wanna grab that butter over there, dude? Oh. So now there's two things. I don't like reading all the instructions. I like to try and just go in blind and see if I can't figure it out. Um, this one. This open clearly bottom. opens up there. Okay, FYI, these have all been pre-opened, kind of dusted off, cleaned up a bit, and put back in for showcasing purposes. Uh, I know you guys freak out when we open up brand new products and just use them right away, so there you go. Should I open it? Please do, son. Absolutely. All right, Toast. butter is out. Oops, sorry. Come man. on! <laughs> Every time I try pulling those, I mess up. Um, well, I'm going to go into this completely blind. I think I see the concept here. And these all said cold butter is fine. Okay, so cold butter it is. Um, are you a salted or unsalted butter? Salted all the way. I don't understand the point of unsalted. By the time you put it on, especially if it melts in there, you kind of lose half the flavor. So um, let's go ahead. There's a slot at the top. Does it not fit? Ah, I want skinny butter. You're going to have to use a <laughs> knife and chop some off. So that's already a Had you shove it in there? Maybe. No. Nope. So I don't know what size butter they're wanting, but... Like small. Super small. I do know of another brand that has the longer, thinner sticks. This is... <laughs> This looks like Play-Doh when you push oh, that this, thing down. Oh, this looks like a cluster. Go get a plate or a bowl, please, for a secondary for backup. It's not too bad. Should be but see, right off the bat, if I have to worry about what size of butter I'm buying to put in it, this makes this one junky. I don't like this. What do we say? If this one keeper or crapper? Is that what we were talking about? Yeah. Um, so the butter, I mean, the butter is in. It's clatter. It only lost a little bit. But I don't think it's mobile enough in there to push itself down. Let's find out. Because I think it's gravity fed and it would need to fall down naturally. Then I'll do it another. I'm going to shove it down in there further, yeah? Yeah. Let me see the packaging. There's the instructions oh. too. 
If you want to read those, feel free. But oh, look at these. Oh, here, hold on. It says right here. Fits the most common standard five inch long quarter pound bars of butter. Lies. No, that's not what we have. What do we have? We have the other kind. Oh, well then that's not their fault then, is it? But I never noticed that on there before. Boo. Um, you did it wrong already anyways. How? Because there's a butter pusher inside that you were supposed to shake out first. You've totally... I guess I should sit this one out. Um, so the good thing is, is the butter's safe. So you need to get the butter out and then find the butter pusher in there. Maybe we should move on to another Watch one. Why don't y'all go ahead and work on the next one. So this next one that I have. Told you I wasn't reading instructions. There was a hole for butter. I put butter in it. This one is the, it's calling it a cheese mill. But online it also said it was good for, oops, why'd you crush the toast? Good for cheese. This is a cheese mill, but it said it was also good for butter. Good grief. He got that stuck in nail. It's not stuck, it's butter, it'll come out. Someday. Like, I'll be able to get this out eventually, and it'll, it'll all be good. I ain't worried about it. Who likes my hair? Yeah, you did get a haircut, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, so this one, although it did say it is good for butter in addition to cheese, I'm not sure it's actually going to work. It's got two weird spots in here, so I'm going to have to, like, cut the butter in half. So again, okay. kind of a failure if I have to cut the butter. That's okay. Is it? I'm cutting it. Who cares? Who cares if I cut it? So far, not super impressed with butter cutters. Oh, I'm gonna like this one. It comes out as like paper thin. Cause look. Yeah, we'll do that one in just a minute. Let's move this one over this way so it doesn't end up on the floor. You see how mom's having to cut that down? Yeah. We're going to cut all that butter. Why don't just cut it and use it? Right? It seems like <clears> such <throat> a pain. Like who said that we're not going to use it? We're using it. Well, yeah, we're using it. But look how much work I'm having to do to get this ready to use. So, I guess it's gonna look like play doh 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 doh. -do. Yeah, probably. Like those play doh. I really mess this one up. <laughs> oh, I Can would you look. See this one? Mom. Oh, good grief. Oh. All right. So, hey, keeping it real. Got some. Right, no, leave the butter on the plate. We'll just bring the plate to me. Plate. All right, here right goes. on the plate. Ooh, it's it's working. It's slippery now though because it's butter everywhere. So take take this clean knife. This isn't <clears> like <throat> probably for like. And scrape it off. Yep, just like that. And then butter your toast, my man. This isn't. That you just probably not. That butter was probably not for this. What would the butter be for? Um, like cookies? No, not for putting in cookies. Putting on. Would that be a good gadget for um, cutting into butter into biscuits or scones or whatever? Mm, I think this makes it too small. I gotta get a napkin. I'm all buttery. <clears throat> That's extra buttery. Like there, there's got to be a way to get this out of there then too, to be able to clean it. I messed this one up. No joke. Alright, so Jamie, how'd you do on that? That made it cold butter pretty easy to spread on lukewarm toast. Because it was so thin and so yeah. fine, it didn't need much. 
Yeah. So this mm. one, other than having to slice and smush the butter in, it wasn't too bad. All you I have could, to do is like just hold. You could theoretically store this in your fridge, and it'd be all right. So that one's not bad. I don't hate that one. What do you think? Did you like being able to spread that butter? Did it help you a little bit? Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't you hand me the next tool? Okay. There you but go. That one's going to be cool. Maybe. You can. It says this one can spread a stick into a 10-foot ribbon. What? What the heck? Wait until it's... I got actual bow tie. Yeah. It says... You can use it straight out of the fridge, but again, I think this wants the long skinny. Yep. So this to me is a standard size butter. I, we don't normally see anything other than that. Maybe it's just the brand that we're always used to, but I mean, yeah, it, so cut it. Yeah. yeah we're going to have to cut it this time so we don't just shove it in there because that clearly doesn't work. Right? It's so weird that shoving things in doesn't work. Right? Just jamming it in there. like. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Not sorry. I thought he was. Sorry, not sorry. Sometimes sorry. <laughs> uh, That's what happens when you don't read directions either. Yeah, so I need to screw this. Oh, I got over butter on my shirt. shirt. Everything is slippery. Oh, God, because it's butter. All right, how about you give that one a go? Sure. How about you take a look at this one? Because <laughs> <laughs> I got all the butter out. <clears throat> all right, so one tiny little slot here on the bottom. And I guess you're just going to crank it down, yeah? Mm-hmm. And we're starting to show some butter coming out. Hi, there we go. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. So much I think it's boring. So now let's see how you see. Oh, yep, see it is good and thin again. So it spreads really nice and smooth. No, you're supposed to push this out. You see, there, there was like nothing obviously that was supposed to come out. I like this one. That ribbon is super thin, so it melts and it, it's easy to spread really quickly. This toast is not warm at all anymore, but it still made it completely spreadable without tearing up the bread. I wonder if, let's try something um, a little bit softer. Piece of this bread, this was left over from our um, French box, right? We. Oui. We. Oui. Yeah. So you push it down again, and it, you just you just level it out, and it doesn't tear it up. Maddie's anxious to get here on screen. Give me some toast. Here I come. Can I try? Just about some toast. Put it here. Put it there. Try it. Wrong way. To the right. There you go. Yep. Here it comes. Can you scrape it? Boom. 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 Go ahead and try that Boom. one. Boom. That one or this one? So this one's good. I like this one. Here. Why don't you give the other twisty one a try? Okay. Oh, well, you have to twist this one as well. Mm-hmm. Let and me try push. this one. Let's see. Twist and push. Twist and push? Yeah. Can you see that coming out of there? It's like a cheese, it's like a cheese <laughs> grater. Is the one I used on this one. Mm-hmm. I like that too. 
It's a little bit more work. I say a little bit, I mean kind of like a lot. Just run a quick knife through there like that. But see, the key is that butter is so small and so thin that it immediately just is ready to eat. You don't have to dig through. Um, can I have a piece of regular bread, untoasted? Let's see how well All right, I actually had to get hot water and rinse the remnants of butter out of this one to be able to get the butter pusher out. So that's what was stuck in there. My bad. Whoa. My bad. Whoa. Scoot that way a bit more. Since apparently the smell of toast and butter has drawn in yes. both children. They are fans of bread and butter. I've been here for this whole time. What are you talking about? I know. I wanted to test this butter on regular bread. Mm. Test it on me? To see if... Mm, it still tears it a bit. I'll eat it. I'll eat that stick butter too. Can I eat this like... No, Mad. Oh man. Okay, so I've trimmed this one down so it'll fit more appropriately. Dad. Still tears on soft bread. And then the butter cutter Hold goes on, in next. All right, so the butter cutter drops in and holds the butter down, so then it's not just gravity fed. Uh huh, Dad. I didn't think it was gravity fed. I thought I was just gonna shove it in there and it had some sort of. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's a lot of butter. Let's uh. Well, I'll take some. Spread that amongst the others. I so was just the having first fun. piece was like that. The, the first piece was way too thick, but the subsequent ones were a good size. Oh, that's what it does. Yeah, it cuts cool. it. It's got a little doodad here at the bottom that it lets the butter drop so far only. Right. And then just slices it. I don't like this one as much because when it drops out, you still have a hard, a somewhat hard chunk thick of butter. chunk of butter that unless you have really piping hot bread, mm -hmm. the butter's not going to do anything. Yep. So like, if you're going to do that, you might as well just cut it off with your knife and put it on there and let it melt and then exactly. spread it. Exactly. Right? So I don't like that one. It was way too complicated. Too many pieces. Too many pieces is perfect example or mm -hmm. perfect explanation. It wasn't intuitive in design. I think this one mm -hmm. spits out a perfect thin ribbon. I think this one. I think it's super easy. Actually, no, nah, this one. This one you have to work a lot at. You have to do a lot of turning. I like this one. Uh, that one, because yeah. it was designed for cheese, I guess. It doesn't even support a ch uh, stick of butter. Now, this one for cooking purposes in your fridge, you wanted a couple of spots. No, see, even then, why not just use your knife? Exactly. Never mind. This, I don't like this one. That one's an overkill. overkill. It doesn't solve a job. Way too many pieces, way too much plastic. There's springs in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I shouldn't have messed it up that bad. Without re even without reading instructions. So, this one called the... This is the butter dispenser. Works for margarine too. But all of these, we apparently need to get the longer 5 inch sticks of butter. Right. So, or work around it, but then that, yeah. So you just have to get well, it. If you work around it, then you end up with this. Extra planks, of, <laughs> planks of butter. Yeah. So, this one's the winner in my book. Too much work, too much cranking. But it is a good thin butter. I do like how it comes out. There you is a knife on the bottom, so please be Yeah, there's a that. blade in there for cutting. So let's go ahead and be done for now because... That's my toy. <laughs> well, okay, so which one are you keeping and which ones are you crapping? I don't understand why Jamie likes that one. Just because of the clicking? The contraption is the bottom. Like, uh, don't butter the table. <laughs> all right, we got a whole plate of butter and bread now. Yes. I got to figure out what to do all this butter that I messed up. You got all butter that butter. sculptures. <laughs> all right. Nobody's eating butter. All right, so are we done? I think yeah. we're done. I think the ribbon one is the winner. Yup. Or, you know, just butter your bread. Yup. With the regular stick. Probably. <clears throat> I mean, if, if it's piping hot toast, anything will work. But, you know, just the ribbon of this, being able to just push it down because it's so thin, that'll work too. So... 
right. This was an I, interesting one. I don't know if it's a problem that needs a ton of solving, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> well, actually, I'm changing okay. this one. Okay. Because okay. this one looks like um noodle expensive. It looks like Darth Vader's helmet, too. It does look like Darth Vader's helmet. <laughs> All right, guys. Jane, remind me. That's just going to I'm not about to check my face. Let us know if there's other gadgets you think we should test. I and got I butter hope. on my elbow. There's yep. butter everywhere. Yep. I have butter Tables. on my shirt. Table's going to be greasy for days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.